hey, that was a fantastic morning. And it, it's all good stuff for us to know and how we can get better at bringing the people in that, that match our culture. That's the key. All right, so I have some wonderful stories today that are all about culture, really, when you think about it. So the first one is Angie Green. Angie, are you? Is Angie? There she is. Hey, Angie. <laughs> You know, I was tempted to just have everybody come up here, and then we would see how red everybody's face has gotten compared to mine. We'll see. All right, so here is the story, and it's actually a number of short stories. Baked a German chocolate cake from scratch for a cancer patient's last birthday. Bought clothes for a hospice patient who wore her sons because she had none of her own. Made an apple strudel for a hospital hospice patient who remembered her, own, remembered her own mother's apple strudel fondly. Arranged for our own rock star, Morgan, to sing Johnny Cash songs at the bedside of a hospice patient. Those present have an unforgettable image of this tiny, frail, bald lady with enormous blue eyes, clapping and singing along to, I killed a man just to watch him die. <laughs> Because, as Angie would say, food is love, she went to the cafeteria and bought lunch to take to a daughter in OPU as she waited for her dad. The diagnosis was bad, and the daughter sat alone at his bedside for hours. These are just a few of the examples of how she shows her love. She is embarrassed to have any recognition at all, because for Angie, it's always about the patient, always. Thank you. it is to work in a place where we love people for a living. Dr. Katib. Dr. Katib here? No, so we're going to, we can just talk about it now. But I'm going to read the story. It's a great story. After I emailed you a few of our blessings yesterday, I kept thinking that I was missing one. All right, here we go. Oh, we missed that slide. Ah, right, good. After I emailed you a few of our blessings yesterday, I kept thinking that I was missing one. Well, at 3.30 this morning, I woke up, and as usual, my mind went to work and my day ahead. I began to think about a recent case we had in our CICU and how involved our hospitalist, Dr. Katib, was with the patient and her husband. Dr. Katib isn't afraid to say, say it as he sees it. If you've ever talked to him, you know that. He challenges all of us to do our best to provide excellent evidence-based care. This sometimes make him, makes him less than popular. <laughs> that doesn't bother him. He is passionate about patient care and achieving the best outcome for the patient. He insists we look at improving processes and practice in order to provide a safe environment of care. He doesn't push his work on others, but makes suggestions and starts with what he might have done better or differently himself. Dr. Katib is not afraid to admit that when he is unfamiliar with something, if this happens, he immediately finds information on what the best treatment is for that condition. He educates nursing and other physicians on what he has learned. Dr. Katib is always willing to look at a patient, whether he is assigned to them or not. Recently, he saw a patient on 3 North that wasn't doing well. One night, one of the night nurses that is a new RN was concerned about labs and the vital signs of this patient. The nurse had spoken to the primary care physician, but was still worried that he had not conveyed the information with enough urgency. He was afraid something would happen to this patient. He ran, he ran into Dr. Katib in the hall, told him about his concern, and Dr. Katib immediately saw the patient. This meant a lot to a new nurse. Most of all, Dr. Katib is an advocate for his patients. He, seems, he sees them as unique individuals, and he understands the importance of caring for the family as well as the patient. During a, re during a recent case in which a patient was not doing well, Dr. Katib took the husband aside and sat with him. He explained what we were doing for his wife, and he listened to the husband's fear and concern. He held his hand and cried with the husband as they discussed how ill his wife was. This level of empathy, compassion, and caring isn't always seen in healthcare providers. Dr. Katib is truly a blessing to Hancock Regional Hospital and to the patients we serve. Williams and Hannah, are you where, where are you at? There, there you guys are in the back, you should look up. All right, exercise specialist, yes. 
Yes, I do that occasionally. <laughs> and I need to do it more. Y'all are awesome. Okay, on Wednesday, the climb was held and Jackie was working one-on-one -on -one with a very sweet lady. This lady had informed Jackie that she has high blood pressure. At the end of the climb meeting, her blood pressure was high and it frightened her. She refused her ride with senior services and told us that she would have her daughter come and pick her up, but she couldn't reach her daughter. At that time, she became very upset and started crying, and Jackie approached her after she noticed she was upset and started to comfort her. Jackie was very sweet with the lady and was doing the best she could to calm her down. The lady had asked for her blood pressure to be checked over and over and over again. Jackie never hesitated to do so. At one point, senior services called back to check on the lady and make sure she was okay. We were finally able to get a hold of her daughter, and she was able to come and pick her up. I wanted to make sure it was known that this whole situation took about an hour to an hour and a half. Jackie did have another appointment, but had reached out to Hannah, another exercise specialist here at the Wellness Center, to stay with the lady until her daughter could come and pick her up. Everyone handled the situation with a smile and without hesitation. Jackie and Hannah comforted the sweet, confused lady with grace. I feel like these two ladies went above and beyond and need to be recognized for their great customer service. All right, this is, this is now Tammy, where's uh, Tammy, there you are, Tammy Sprout, and Jeannie Crow, and Carol Barrett, Carol, where's Carol? Oh, there you are, okay, sorry. All right, so here's the story, and I could tell another little piece of this too. It said, today I witnessed service that exceeded expectations for a hospital patient. In a recent meeting with Tammy Strunk, a patient on the transitions unit informed her that her wish was to see Mickey Mouse before she passed. It was then arranged for Mickey Mouse to come and make an appearance. With the help of Jeannie Crow, Mickey came to see this patient and bring her a bouquet of flowers. The patient cried when she saw Mickey and could not thank Tammy enough for making this happen. Tammy coordinated the event. Jeannie was Mickey Mouse. <laughs> And Carol tracked down and obtained a Mickey suit to make all of it possible. Let's thank him. That's awesome. All right. So you know that favorite phrase, what a blessing it is to work in a place where we love people for a living? This is what it looks like to love people for a living. And it is a blessing. Thank you all for everything you do.